Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We are in the year 1308, and Philippa, Phineas, and baby Gilbert are the only Sims up right now. Philippa is going to get some cleaning done, and I'm going to have Phineas come in and eat some of that gruel that I think um, Annis made last night. And I'm also going to have him clean up that trash in the front because that that is horrible and yeah so I put this bread and cheese in the cheese will into Philippa's inventory so that she could fix a cheese and bread platter I figured that this might be easier with the bigger family so we don't have like a whole bunch of food spoiling on us and a whole bunch of dishes that we have to clean so now Philip is up. He's can't, he has come in and he has started to eat that spoiled food. And also Annis is up now, and she, as you guys can, re if you guys can re could remember, she's pregnant, and we're gonna be having a baby this episode. So Mefra is up, and he's gonna start on his daily chores. And at some point. Philippa went outside and did that little that quirky thing that she does and started playing in the pond in the back. Meanwhile, Annis and Phineas are talking in the kitchen, getting to know each other a little bit. I don't think they really communicated um, till this point. Manfred is already in the workshop and I'm going to send Phineas in there to work on some woodwork because we need to go to the market this part because at, um, last episode we had to sell all of our stuff out of all of our inventory so that Annis and Philip could have a place to sleep. And yeah, there he is working. And um, yeah, so Philip is very childish. He plays with, to with the, our children's toys. So I had to get him out. Um, I had him go foraging. I had him go hunt and I also had him go fetch some water from the docks so that we could when we eventually get another llama we could um make some more dyes so he came once once he was finished with all that he came back and i had him work on the weaving table i think he would probably that's something that he would do other than working on the woodworking <laughs> table so that's his thing and at some point, Phineas came into the house and started helping out Philippa with the little children. And he potty trained bought one because at this point, the neither of the twins had been potty trained. And I, once Manfred got done with making all those candles, I started to place them down. He's really good at that. He's very fast. He's quicker than Annis in philippa at making candles so he's shaping up to be one of our most skilled of uh, sims in this household he's very helpful and okay now at this point everything was going like a mess um, philippa was really struggling with all the little ones in the house stuff was breaking but philip phineas was outside selling everything in the garden and Annis came in to help out with the kids for a little bit because she knew Philippa was like really struggling. And Philippa had just got done with giving Gilbert a bath. So she went ahead and put him down and started fixing up um, the broken toilet and cleaning up around the house. Annis was kind of tired. So I sent her back to the shed so she could take a nap. And I did, this is the um, night time and everybody was done with the day. So everybody went to bed. Those three, well, no, Philip was the last one to go down. He had a really long day. But later in the night, Annis had gone into labor and she gave birth and we gave birth to a girl. A girl, I'm not sure how I really felt about this. I mean, I'm happy, I was happy. Um, as you can see, I'm changing um, her pe pregnancy tries because she has nine more pregnancy tries left. And we rolled to see what her name was and it was Delia or D Delia. I think I'm gonna pronounce it Delia. While she was giving birth, for some reason, Philip was outside screaming i don't i don't know he was outside freaking out 
But we had to roll for mama and she rolled to live. And then we had to roll for baby and she also rolled to live. So I'm really lucky with these these rolls. Nobody's no no deaths. I, I really feel like I might be able to to make it through this decade with only one death in the family. I don't know. We'll have to see with the next episode. But since we were early, since it was early, I think I after Annis gave birth to their baby, Philip, something really clicked in Philip's head. So he went into the workshop after he got done taking a bath because he was dirty. He went into the workshop and he's pretty much stayed there all day. Um, as you can see, he leveled up um, already. So he he was just working all day, and I had him. Um, make all kinds of stuff on the weaving table that he can um, go to the market later with Phineas and they can sell some stuff. So after a while, Annis had went to sleep after giving birth and she woke up to feed the baby and everybody else started waking, to wake up at this point. I wanted to send fit Phineas in there to make some wood but it, he um some woodworking stuff but he didn't have any wood on him so i had to send, send him out to go get some more wood and while he is gone i'll have annis come in and help Philip out with the children as you can see bot when is playing with his toy um annis is just gonna finish up her food and then start cleaning up and helping Philippa. i sent Philippa outside to sell the stuff from the garden while um, because Phineas was busy and I have Manfred go out and take care of our cow because we only have one cow now we and I'm I don't know how I want to do the Annis and Philip is it out I don't know if I really if I want to like actually pay for them to have um, a lot I don't know what how much money it would be for them to get a lot. I think at the in medieval times, um, people didn't actually own land or purchase land. It was given to them. So I might just say that the Lord in the area found a plot for them that they could work on and live on. And that'll be after Annis gives birth to their second child, which I think might be next episode or at the beginning of the next decade. But until then, I am be ungrateful to have the extra hands on the farm. Um, I sent Manfred out to go fishing. Um, I think that's something he can help us with. And we could um, eat fish from time to time as she did. So yeah, he was up there by himself and he caught some stuff. I was like, I was really happy for him. So we put some of the fish in the pond, but um, the way that works, we still like had fish in our inventory. I thought that was kind of weird. So here are the babies. They're on the um, bench talking to each other. I can't wait for them to age up. I want to see how they look. And Philippa it was back outside playing in the pond area. That is just yeah. So later, after Manfred came down, he decided that he wanted to work, start working on his archery skills so he was out there for a little bit playing and Phineas had a long day and uh, him and <laughs> Gilbert were uh, had good nap by each other and I wanted to have um, Philippa make something new so I've had her make a, a basket of bread for dinner but nobody ate it because everybody had already went to bed so it was something that people ate in the morning and it's went in um, into the shed and took care of her baby before going to bed along with her husband. And yeah, so Manfred had came in and I think used the restroom or the, the chamber pot. I, the one thing I really like about this oven I hadn't noticed before that you can actually see the stuff that they cook um, inside the oven. So yeah, after she got done, I just had Philippa go straight to bed and Gilbert was still on the floor. <laughs> he was very neglected. I don't know how he ended up out of the cradle. Oh, so Philip was actually the last person. He's always the last person to go down these days. So yeah, so next morning, everybody started to eat what was supposed to be dinner, but it was fine. So the children were, woke up first today and um, 
Philip, not Philip, Phineas and Annis woke up soon after Annis took care of her baby who is aging up today but at around 8 Philip was up as well so I'm gonna go have him probably go in and eat with the rest of the family and then have him start working in the it workshop total, again. It totally went over my head, but yesterday was actually All Souls Day, and uh, we pretty much ignored it because we haven't had any like really major deaths in the family yet. We had an infant die, but um, I killed her like as she was like aging up. But I killed her as a newborn, so we didn't have any ashes, so there was like no way we could have really mourned her. So. Yeah, so All Souls Day was not pretty, Was our first All Souls Day wasn't pretty and beautiful. But today we're just all in the house and <laughs> the other baby was um, always in the shed by herself. Um, okay, so no, Philip had, um, had finished making a whole bunch of stuff. I had put it in his inventory, but later on I am actually going to sell some of the stuff that we wouldn't be able to sell at a market at a sell table like he made a couple of mirrors and some end tables so i went ahead and sold those off but now it's time to age up our baby delia and she um rolled a good roll and she rolled the trait wiggly she's a wiggly infant and i was so happy about this we have a red-headed baby so we're gonna get her into cast so, so we can fix her up and this is what she looked like before and we're also going to roll for genetics so she'll have her mother's her mother's eyes and she'll also have her mother's eyebrows and she'll have her mother's hair type because Anna's hair is curly so she's going to be she's going to age up to look um probably like Anna's just like her mother that's what she looked like afterwards. I thought that was like she was completely adorable. I forgot to lock baby proof the door. So I had to um, continue to have Annis um, put her back into her, cr her cradle um, until the click that, you know, I had to actually baby proof the door so the baby wouldn't be able to wander off any, any and everywhere around the farm. Um, I had sent Philip out to go get some more wood because he had ran out of. And Manfred um, went back to his old ways and started um, making messes in the workshop. So I had him clean up his mess then get back to um, working on candles. And the toilet in the shed had broke. So I had Philippa go in there and her fix that for Annis while Annis she was working on her. in there with her, her baby. Philippa felt comfortable enough to leave her children in the house unattended for a bit while a couple of them were still asleep so she could get some laundry done. And Philip had returned, so I um, had him take a bath because he was dirty. And I then had him um, work on the garden, help us with um, watering the garden and clean up around in that area. Annis went to go check on her baby who was taking a nap, but now we're at the market with Philip and Phineas. Philip was able to sell off his three items, but Phineas was having a really hard time. He was really tired. He tried to take a nap on the um, ground and he really didn't sell anything at the market. So this market trip was kind of a bust and I was kind of upset about it, but I mean, it happens. So we're back and we're gonna just take care of their needs. We're gonna get some food um, on the table, um, we're gonna have Philippa make that and and what is going on in the house right now? We had a lot of stuff breaking this part. I think it's because we have a lot of sims now and there's a lot of stuff that we have to um, Wash so I Philip came in there to like clean the the sink, but he didn't actually repair it. I, I don't know what was the purpose of him cleaning the, the sink. So eventually I had Philippa do that. But after everybody else had um, got done with their food and went to bed, we had the two newlyweds um, try for another baby. So... Hopefully we can get her second pregnancy going on. And um, later in the night, I, I guess 
Manfred has been watching his mom come back here and playing the pun, so he decided to do it, and I think he thinks it is absolutely fun, so I think that's something that he picked up from his brother. But now it's the next day, and there, um, Annis is up, so Annis is gonna make the food, and I still had forgot to baby proof the the door at this point so the baby had crawled out but philip had picked her up and hugged her because she was kind of scared of the rain and the, the noise that was going on so he hugged this baby and put her back in her cradle and he got his day started with making some stuff in and it's got table. the throw up and option on the chamber on the toilet so she is pregnant now so we're gonna have a, another baby on the way and soon philip and his and their little family won't be in our household anymore um so it is today's actually gilbert's birthday so we're gonna have to roll for him and he rolled to live like these babies none of these sibs are dying is i these the lucky i'm getting the the more i fear what is going to happen in the future so this is what he looked like before and we of course have to roll for his genetics so for eye color he gets his father's his father's eyes um for eyebrows he gets his father's eyebrows and for hair type he gets his mother's hair type so all the boys and he kind of looks have like curly Manfred. Hair. i mean maybe that's because i gave him the same hair that Manfred had but i had to rearrange the whole like setup in the house because we didn't have any room for him t uh, for his um, toddler bed so I had to t put our grill outside and out of the house but once we once Annis and Philip move I think I'm gonna move the bigger kids into the shed um, when they leave and so Philip, Philippa was keeping her children, she was taking care of her children, she played with her daughter for a bit, and then this was cute um, interaction between the little boys. I definitely think Botwin is probably the most charismatic out of all the, um, the kids right now. He's really um, social, as even as like a little toddler, he's always um, still, like hugging him. Yeah. On his siblings like he starts the interactions um autonomous miss autonomously so i think that's just his um, character what am i trying to say like his character is starting to develop so philippa um actually got the fish that manfred had caught the other day into her inventory and decided i decided to have her use that grill that automatically makes food from, for the Sims for the first time. And I'm probably gonna use that more often now since we do have a lot of Sims in the household. And I do need um, my female Sims to work on us and work on their skills. So she fixed that. I had to um, go into Bino and put it on the table for them because it wasn't letting me do it um, in live mode. So that was dinner. And everybody came in to eat that, and Annis is gonna get Delia ready for, or, or Delia ready for bed, and I'm gonna end it right here, you guys. So nothing really happened um, after this point. They basically just went ate and went to bed. And for everybody that voted in the poll, the twins did win, so they're gonna have the end credit scene for the next decade. And we have one more episode until then. So I am gonna do a like a recap over like recap video. So be on the lookout for that. And with that being said. Um, I'll see you guys next in 1309. Thank you guys for watching.